The military may still be using firefighting foam containing so-called forever chemicals beyond the October 1st deadline. The Government Accountability Office reports that the Defense Department is looking to get waivers to extend the deadline another two years. The foam contains the toxic substance PFAS, which is believed to cause cancer and other health problems. Mike Gooding has the latest. The Defense Department uses a specific type of firefighting foam known as AFFF in about 1,500 facilities and over 6,800 mobile assets worldwide to suppress fires. The foam is particularly effective putting out aircraft fires, but it contains a compound with the so-called forever chemicals PFAS. It can seep into groundwater, get into nearby drinking wells, and have adverse effects on human health, including harming fetal development, the thyroid and immune system, and may cause liver liver damage and testicular, kidney and thyroid cancers. Congress voted in 2020 to discontinue use of the foam after this October 1st, but a new report says that change may take more time. The Government Accountability Office reports that the DOD has identified challenges that are slowing the transition. The report says the DOD will likely seek waivers through October 1st, 2026. We did find that they were taking actions to move toward this elimination. Um, it's just there are a number of challenges and they've got to overcome those. GAO Defense Capabilities and Management Team Director Alyssa Siz says it's important that this problem is fixed. Um, because PFAS can get into groundwater and drinking water and it has the potential to provide a harmful health effects. So DOD needs to take action on this. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. The chemicals were discovered in groundwater around in the Navy's Fentress Field in Chesapeake in 2016. The Navy provided those residents with bottled water. The city of Chesapeake is working to get those homes connected to the city water system.